Wagwan, Wagwan. Welcome to the DIY Yardy channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. In this video today, I'm working on a power washer that you see here it's running really rough. It cuts out. It basically um, just doesn't have enough power or lacking power. And I'm going to do a check to see what's going on with it. Um, it has a new spark plug that didn't solve the issue. So what I'm doing here, I'm checking the air filter. This looks, looks a little dirty, but not, you know, terribly dirty where it would cause a problem. So next thing I'm doing here is I'm going to check the gas to see if there's any water in it because this, um, it's actually, this, this machine has actually been sitting for, you know, over a year. So sometimes, you know, water can get in the fuel, you know, some kind of contamination. Somebody might have put, you know, something in it, you know, instead of gas that should be in it, you know. So uh, this is a gas, some, a sample of the gas really that came out of it. And it looks clean, doesn't look like any water in it, you know, in there. I've had it sitting for a while. You know, normally you'd see if it's water, there would be some sort of separation where there would be, you know, that green color gas. It would be water to the bottom and the gas to the top. All right. Anyway, I'm going to next step I'm doing is I'm going to clean the carburetor. So it's a half inch to pull that bolt at the bottom of the pan, cup, that little cup. Okay. And it would be good to have some kind of container you know, below the carburetor while you're doing this to catch that gas. Just in case you're working in an area, you don't want to make a mess or have that gas leak onto your driveway. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get this um, bolt out. And this bolt not only holds that little cup in place, or that's like a little reservoir for the carburetor, but this bolt is also the pickup for the gas and you know it going up into the carburetor and what happens is that there are tiny little holes in this bolt that the gas gets pulled in through and you know that that um those holes will get clogged with dirt okay so this this is the, the pan the cup it's a little dirty not bad you know got a little bit of dirt in there <coughs> So what I'm going to do is um, check this, um, this little bolt, the pickup, okay, and what, like I said, what normally happens is, you know, dirt will get in these little holes and clog them up, alright. So the best way to clean this thing is you need like a little piece of wire, like from, from a wire brush, like a bristle from a wire brush. See, I'm holding it up to the light there to see if that hole is clogged. But that top one, you really can't see into it, you know. What I'm doing here is I'm cleaning out the cup, you know, getting rid of all the dirt out of it. All right. And I'm also going to clean this part here, which is the pickup for the gas, okay. Like I said, you need a little piece of wire like from a wire brush like this and what you're going to do is going to insert it in that hole okay got to insert it in there you know work it around you know and do it a few times and also it's it's a good idea to once you're done doing this to you know if you have like carburetor cleaner or something like that the spray you know spray it out with the carburetor cleaner through all of those holes the top one and and the bottom one you know it's a good idea to do that to wash any kind of dirt or debris that might be in there out of it okay so I got it all cleaned up I'm gonna put it back together and see what happens from this point okay so getting it reinstalled and you know, there, there are other things that can give you, you know, 
problems with the with the engine running you know like you know bad coil bad carburetor you know but a lot of times it's simple like a bad plug a dirty filter or a dirty carburetor or you know contaminated gas you know so if you find the gas is contaminated let's go through the same steps clean this cup clean the pickup you know replace you know drain all the gas out and put fresh gas and go from there and see what happens you know most of these small engines are the same whether it be a lawnmower power washer anything with a small engine like this you can run into this same kind of problem all right so getting that hose reconnected that's the fuel line getting our filter back in and putting the cover back in place good put my switch on I'm gonna do a quick test you can notice the difference in the way it's running much stronger, much smoother. I'm gonna give it a quick test. That seems to have solved the problem. Try it out on this tire. Seems to be working pretty well. Like I said, you know, you have this issue, try it on any small engine, from a lawnmower to any other engine, and a lot of time, this is a problem with it. Okay. Seems we got this one kicked. I am a DIY Yardy. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and bless up.